Today, I want to demonstrate how to unit test in Python. And specifically, I want to be able to mock a function within another function. What I mean by that is if we look at the is file function here, I want to be able to mock the os.path.isFile function so that we can control the behavior of the isFile function. Same thing with is number five and same thing with is valid. We want to be able to mock is file and we want to be able to mock is number five. Okay, let's move over to the test code. So I imported mock from unit test and also imported config from main and also imported os.path and I will go over why I imported this instead of just importing OS. The first unit test that I am running is the is valid. And specifically, I want to make sure that the is file is being called. So what I mean by that is I'm unit testing is valid and making sure that the first chunk of the code is being called. And to do that, we can mock the is file so that this will return false. As you can see here, I call mock.patch.object. What this function does is that it will create a patched object. So the first parameter takes in a class, in our case is config, since that's where the is file is located. And the second parameter is just the name of the function that we want to patch. And after that, we would call the start function to activate the patch so that it will return us a mocked object. And once we have this mocked object, we can call we can call a dot return value to tell it what value it should return. In my case, I want it to return true so that the is valid function right here could return false. As you can see, if self dot is file returns true, then we return false. Okay. So next, I create the config object. And from the config object, I call the function is valid. And this will contain the is valid results. And I want to assert that the mocked is file function is being called once. And this is what the call count is doing. It's, making, it's returning the number of calls that is file is being called. And I want to make sure it's just one. And then I assert that the is valid value is false. And then I will deactivate the patcher. And the reason I want to deactivate the patcher is because if I don't, then that means that the is file function will still be a mocked object in my next unit test run in, in here, in my next unit test run. And I want to make sure that each of these unit tests is isolated and, and I don't want them to affect each other, so I want to deactivate it. And you can also, instead of doing start and then stop, you can also use a context manager. And I won't be going over that here, but that's another option. Okay, next, I want to unit test same thing, the is valid function. But this time, I want to make sure that the function is number five is being called. So as you can see in main, I want to test is valid. Uh, this time I want to make sure that it reaches the else if statement so that self dot is number five is being called and and then therefore it returns false. To do that, I would do the same thing as before, patch the is file function and also patch the is number five function and making sure to activate the patched object and for its file I want to make its return value to to be false. This way, it can go to the else if statement and go to the is number five function. And this time, I want to make sure that the return value for the is number five function to return true. And 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 after that, I would create my config object called the is valid function, and making sure that making sure that the is number five the mocked is number five function is being called only once and making sure that the is valid return value is false. 
and then deactivates the past object. So as you can see in the main file here, we mark this so that this returns false. And if it, if it returns false, then it will go to else if statement and call self is number five. Since we set the is number five value to return true, therefore the is valid function will return false. The next function that I am testing is making sure that the is valid function returns true. So in this case, we want to make sure that the else statement is being called and it will return true. To do that, I will do the same thing as before, making sure to patch the is file function so that it returns false. And same thing, patch the is number five function so it returns false. And, and if both of those functions returns false, then that means it will go to the else statement. And that's what the assertion here is doing. I will assert that the is valid, the config dot is valid, is true. And after that, I would deactivate both of the patched objects. And lastly, I am testing the is file function. As you can see here, I am testing this is file function. Specifically, I want to mock the os.path.is file. And in this case here, in the mock.path.object, the first parameter is os.path. Initially, I thought that the first parameter should, should just be os, but then I realized that os is the file, path is the class that contains the is file. Therefore, we have to use os.path instead of just os. And after we created the past object, we will activate the patcher so that it return as the mocked object. And after that, we would set the return value to true and and we will call the we will call the config class to create the config object and assert that config dot is file is true and then stop the patcher. And yeah, that's it. That's how you would mock a function within another function. And if I would run this test here, and you can see that this uh, all the tests passes.